In this activity, we will be trying to prove the midpoint theorem. That is, if you take a cutout of a triangle, the measurements of the triangle doesn't matter. You can take any random triangle. You can see the triangle which I have taken is suppose A, B, C. And I have marked the midpoints of the three sides. P is the midpoint of AB, Q is the midpoint of BC and R is the midpoint of AC. Now I have joined PR, I have joined QR. You can take one more cutout which is exactly same as the first one. You can see this, this is a colored sheet of paper which I have used and this triangle and the original triangle are exactly same. That means they are congruent. And I have drawn all those lines which I have drawn here and then cut it into three different parts. Now I just require one part that is this triangle and the other two parts are discarded. After that, I will take this triangle which is now cut out and try to place it on this triangle above. You can see this is exactly the same. And surprisingly, if you place this on the triangle RQC, you will find that it overlaps RQC also. And that proves that triangle on the top, that is triangle APR, is actually congruent to triangle RQC. So if these two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding parts are equal and therefore this angle 1 and this angle 2 are equal. And if angle 1 and angle 2 are equal, they form a pair of corresponding angles and that proves that the line PR and the line BC are parallel because only in case of parallel lines, the corresponding angles can be equal. This is the first part where we have proven that the line joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side. Now I want to prove that PR is half of BC. For that, you can again see that the side PR is equal to the side QC. That's also using CPCT that is corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So PR equal to QC by CPCT. But you also know that QC and BQ are equal because Q is the midpoint of BC. Also BQ equal to QC and therefore all the three sides are equal. So if PR, BQ and QC all three are equal, that means PR is half of BC. So coupling the, the first result and the second result together, you have actually proved the midpoint theorem. That is a line which joins the midpoint of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half of it. And that completes our activity on midpoint theorem.